If you are desiring to tap into your infinite inner knowledge for the purpose of expressing yourself more fully and you are not quite sure how to go about it, click on the link below and book a session with myself and my spiritual team and we would be honored to help you on your journey. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hello beautiful soul, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a series of messages designed to help you uh, to know yourself better. Uh, my name is Joanna. My intention is to help you uh, create a better life for yourself, simply put. And I do this by um, helping you, uh, aligning you with certain information that if you choose to use this information and put it into practice, you will begin to see how powerful you are. And the goal is here to help you realize your power. Okay, You are a powerful being. You probably know this already in your head. You have the concept and idea of what that means, but broadly speaking, you're not wearing it. You are not it. You're not embodying it. And there's always a reason why. We always have our reasons. Nothing exists for no reason. Everything has a purpose. So if we are not embodying our true power and our true nature and our power, then why are we not doing that? What is preventing us from doing so? There's a question that everyone might want to ask themselves. Do I choose to embrace my power? Do I choose to embrace my power? If the answer is I don't have any, it's impossible. Go back to square one, ask yourself that question again. Okay, It's impossible for you not to have power because you are it. It's like this, if you didn't exist, then one would say you have no power. There's just no you, but I absolutely do have power. Problem is you're not seeing it yet. That's because you're not looking through the correct lenses or the more appropriate lenses that would allow you to see it. Okay. If you are coming back, thank you. I'm just going to start channeling. Uh, there's an extended version that I channeled a few moments ago all about how we see things, our perceptions, our lenses, the choice of lenses we have at our disposal. Very powerful. If you would like to hear that or to see it, it uh, doesn't cost a penny. It's absolutely free. Link is down below. It'll be posted in a couple of days. And there's also a series of uh, channeled messages that are not on YouTube. <clears throat> so let's move on with the cards, if you will, the, the pictures, which is really what I do. Um, I look at the pictures and I feel myself in the picture to see the message, to receive the message. So that's one of the ways that consciousness communicates through me. It's through visions uh, and pictures. Um, and I'm not sure why I'm explaining that to you, but I guess it's important for some of you to know. Okay, perhaps this is how you see things, but you don't trust it, maybe? I don't know. So what does the universe want you to know? I just heard family ties. Um, this message says embracing family. What I'm getting from that more than anything is the opposite about rejection or feeling rejected. Feeling rejected by family, not feeling loved, not feeling uplifted. And your idea of family, family unit, will be a certain way as a result of not having certain experiences, okay? And you are addressing those right now. Example, if you do not feel love towards yourself, you will have a tendency, quite high tendency, to rely on others to make you feel loved, okay? 
and that's a very tiresome exercise. It is a lot of expenditure of energy, unnecessarily so. Not that because you don't need validation. The validation you seek, you already have. It's within you. You just can't see it. You are under the illusion that there is some lack, that there is something within you that needs to be fulfilled. If you want it to be inside of you, if you want it to feel inside of you, it has to be within you. Okay? Bring it back out of you. Bring that experience out of you. Okay? What is the experience you are seeking versus that which you are experiencing? Find yourself in alignment with that. Okay? I just heard some of the family ties are serve as entrapments. So you still have some inner conflict because you're still trapped in this old energy that dates back to when you were young. And this is generally pretty standard for humans. Okay. There is a lot of self-neglect that's going on with you, in particular, pile number one. And there is an energy of shame. Okay. You feel there's something about you you don't want to look at. It's uh, it's almost like a part of you you've disowned. Mm. And as a result of this disowning this part of you, you are fundamentally not happy. Okay. Understanding that becomes very important to you right now. Self-neglect, very important, okay? Not to remember to neglect yourself, the opposite, to not neglect yourself, okay? To neglect yourself simply means you're not feeding you. If you stop feeding a baby, a baby's gonna die. Sorry for the gruesome example, but that's the reality of it, okay? Therefore, if you do not feed yourself, that part of you will, it's not that it'll die or disappear. It's, it's just not going to be, it's not gonna be a very big part of you. It's not gonna, it's like a part of you is gonna be missing. And what you're gonna do is gonna try to fill it because it becomes, because it becomes a void. Notice what you are fulfilling in your life right now and ask yourself, is this fulfilling for the experience of feeling fulfilled or is it that I'm trying to fulfill myself? Because if you are trying to fulfill yourself, then that means you're not full yet. Why not? What's missing? And those are metaphors, okay? So family dynamics are being brought up for pile number one to address in order to Release yourself, cut the cords, and free yourself from entrapments, your own entrapments, okay? We all have them, okay? We get trapped. And when we are trapped, this is how we begin to perceive life, through entrapment. And that's not a very... Imagine yourself feeling entrapped, and not being able to get out. That's a very, it's not a very explorative experience. It's a very um, limited experience, okay? So your some of your family ties um, prevent you from you feeling fulfilled. You are still giving those situations your power, <clears throat> okay? So there is some empowerment stuff left over. Not unusual. This is what we're experiencing as humanity is the return to totality, which is sheer power, okay? Which, by the way, us humans would not be able to handle that. We would be blasted off to gazillion pieces because the energy is so, 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 so high that... Uh, there's no way that the human form would withstand it. We would just literally blow up. Okay. It's 
literally energetic. Okay. Yin and yang, harmony, you can look at this, of course, as um, the six lovers. But what I'm getting more than anything, and although, yes, it can apply to seeing how your family ties affect your relationships, how they affect your relationship with yourself primarily, and then your relationship with others, and then coming to some sort of inner resolution, resolution of some inner conflict that allows you to be at peace with yourself. And as a result, at peace, at peace with another in a relationship. Because when it comes to relationship, you are for some reason not feeling a lot of peace. Okay, And that's because the the, the non-peace that you feel inside you is still fueled by what happened back when. Okay, There's some need for effective releasing to, to, to help you move that burden out of your body because you are carrying it. Okay, And it's affecting your creativity. Okay. Soul journey. So I'm going purely by tuning into this image. It came in reverse. So soul journey, pretty explanatory. We are here on a soul journey. Um, but because it comes to me in reverse, I want to tune into this. It's like you, you purposely deny yourself who you are. It's you purposely deny yourself who you are. Why? Why is the question? Why would you be purposely denying yourself who you are? Okay, why? If you are greatness, let's use that analogy, which by the way, you are. <laughs> If you are greatness, why would you want to purposely to be at odds with this greatness? Why would you want to have nothing to do with it? What's in it for you? Perhaps you have a tendency to see yourself small and seeing your greatness would fundamentally crush your ego. That's effectively called ego death. Okay? It is not a pleasant experience, but one that nonetheless happens when we go through these types of transformations. Okay? So the tarot card death in a traditional tarot deck represents way more than a physical death. It's a transformation. It's a moment of transformation where fears transform into enlightenment, okay? I feel like you are in an enlightened space right now, but you're not allowing yourself to see it. It's like, I don't wanna know what's going on. I don't wanna see what's going on. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna be an independent. So some of you perhaps are too much relying on others. So you are in codependent relationships and it's somehow hard for you to face that. So here's what I'm going to suggest, if that makes sense to you. You can also have um, attachments to things, not just people. Codependencies on, obviously, things, not just people. But I feel like I'm addressing people specifically. If you don't want to see that, it's probably because it's scary for you to imagine yourself being fully capable and not relying on anybody else. That would be a completely different life for you. Completely different experience. And that means change and change can be scary. So I, your ego is running away from something here. It doesn't want to know. It doesn't want to know. It doesn't want to know. Uh, notice pile number one, if you get any fear. 
feelings around the idea of rejection. Everyone has been rejected. That goes without saying. However, some of us hold on to our rejection uh, and it affects us in profound ways. Okay. We fear rejection. So what we do most of our lives, we unknowingly choose to act and behave in ways in which will in which we believe will please others so that they'll stay or they will let us stay okay so it's a survival fear um codependence independence just ask yourself what am, what am i too dependent on what am i what am I using as a crutch? What am I or who am I using as a crutch, I want to say? Or what am I using as a crutch? And am I afraid of being independent? Maybe you're afraid of being independent. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be afraid. Uh, afraid doesn't mean that there's something wrong. It just means... You haven't experienced it before. It's a new and it's a new it's a new idea for you. It's a whole new way of life. It's a life change. That's scary, of course. Of course that's scary. It's remember, it's vibration. So you're not just reacting or responding to the thought, you're responding to the vibration that goes with having a different experience. Okay. So you're a brave soul, I hear. You are a brave soul. As far as I'm concerned, you're all brave souls because I believe it takes a brave soul to constantly looking at oneself um, in order to grow and expand. Okay. All right. That's it for pile number one. All right. Let's see what we have for pile number two. And remember, it is all about what the universe uh, wants us to know. Interesting. So we have energy transmission and renewed hope. Okay. I will go purely by what I perceive energetically, okay, not by the book. Okay. I'm particularly interested in this hope renewed in in uh, reverse. It just kind of tells me that um There's some inner fight going on right now. And I wouldn't be surprised if this inner fight has to do with the idea of money. Money independence. Um, you're hoping something, you're hoping for something to work, but you're not sure it's going to happen. You're not sure of yourself if it's going to happen. And you are trying to decide and this is an important and i want to use the words independent lesson for you whatever you're going through right now if this resonates with you right now what i just said you're going through change and an upgrade okay so let's look at this other energy transmission what this represents is you in the company of other beings being supported and aided as you are going through something right now that is making you feel like you don't have energy like you don't have what it takes that you don't have enough strength Strength. I think the word is strength. You that you whatever you're going through and you you're feeling like you don't have the strength or you're not feeling too strong. There are beings beside you who are aiding you in the process energetically. Or the message I'm supposed to say is you are not doing this alone. Okay? You're not doing this alone. Some of you I feel need some reassurance that you're not going crazy that you're not going to end up in some prison that's an interesting statement um you want some validation with what's going on because you're you don't know what's happening you're confused 
Okay. I just hear, what am I doing? What am I doing? Questioning yourself. Um, with the, what am I doing? There is likely some fears that are bound to come up. So you're, I feel like you're dealing with a lot. Okay. And I think perhaps that's, that's why this hope thing is kind of in reverse. It's like you're, you're losing trust or you're losing faith. And I feel like the universe wants to say, not so quick, don't give up just yet. And I just hear you haven't seen the best yet. The best is yet to come. And as probably the third pile, certainly the first, you two are going through a transition. And it's a transformational journey. You are on a, on, on a smack in the middle of a transformational journey. You are being reshaped, reformed, re... I almost said to say repurposed, which is a strange word. Obviously, that's a metaphor. You are... Vibrationally, you're feeling different. Um, you're probably feeling sad a lot of the time. You have no idea why. Um, potentially feeling really lazy, like you don't want to do anything. Those are all apparently signs of uh, an energetic upgrade. It's like your system has to has to learn how to um, absorb all this light information it's it's uh, it can feel heavy weighted on some uh, on, on some level but if this is what you're experiencing what i am to say is that this is not a sign of going something going bad it's in fact the opposite but because you are going through a profound change you, you, your body needs time to adjust to it, to take to this new energy, because you are starting to vibrate in a different energetic field, okay? You might feel sleepy, for example, okay? Obviously, if there's something going on and you are concerned, go see a doctor, but I wanna say there's nothing physically wrong or anything going on. I also want to say you don't all of a sudden have depression. You may feel depressed like, but I wouldn't necessarily diagnose myself with depression. Of course, unless you've gone to a doctor, did you do diligence? And that's what they said, you know, depending on whether you choose to believe it or not, that's up to you. All I'm saying is you feeling down doesn't qualify you as being quote unquote depressed. So. Maybe it's as simple as ha saying to you that if you have a tendency to describe yourself as depressed or telling yourself that I'm depressed, try change of words and instead of saying I am depressed all the time, try saying I feel depressed all the time, okay? Because you are not your depression. You are experiencing depression, but you are not that. An arm cannot experience its armness. I heard somebody say that the other day and I thought it was brilliant. Okay. So, be confident in who you are becoming. Um, I feel like there's something else that wants to come through, but it's not quite. Be confident in who you are becoming. Be confident in who you are becoming. So the inner, the focus is on becoming, becoming every moment, becoming every moment. <laughs> okay, get it, thank you. Focus on the now. Realize that a lot of what you are projecting has nothing to do with you. And other than it's, part of your past experience because we to project something out we must have it notice what you are projecting right now notice if you are projecting a lot of fears for example 
that will be very likely. Examine those. What are they? What do they tell you about you? What sort of vibration do they represent to you? How do they feel? What is the story behind those feelings? What is the belief system? Notice where it leads you. It leads you down to a place where you normally don't look. It's called the deeper understanding. Okay. You can learn how to flow better when or if you have more deeper understanding. Why? Because having deeper understanding will allow you to see yourself differently and make different choices so that you don't stand in front of your, in, in your own way. We have an um, uh, amazing ability to stand in our own way. Amazing. It's like we're experts at it. Men, standing in our own way, we are experts at it for sure. <laughs> I don't think we have to repeat that lesson again. Okay. <clears throat> Triumphant success, again, it's coming up in reversal. What I hear is this is um, this is Ace of Swords in a traditional tarot. Again, I channel intuitively. Your thought patterns are changing. And it is not an easy process. Why? Because first you have to adjust to your new pattern. And then this pattern is going to collectively affect everything you do. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a massive adjustment. Okay. If you feel like you don't understand yourself right now, that's a good place to be. Here's why. Because if you don't know, if you don't understand yourself right now, you can decide how you want to understand yourself. You give yourself the opportunity to choose who you want to practice becoming. Okay. And there is no, I can't. You're doing it all the time. You are practicing who you are becoming all the time. You just don't know it. The more, you be, the more you become aware of the choices you make as a result of your long-standing patterns, the more you will be in a position to keep playing that game, if you will. You'll just take your toys and move somewhere else, as they say. You're no longer required to participate in something you don't want to be in. But you have to be able to choose differently. And what we choose and how we choose it and how we choose to go about our choosing process. That's up to you. That's up to each and every individual. And we have total control over that. We just don't see it that way. We don't think of it that way. And therefore, we don't participate with it nearly as much as we could. And that's where our power is. Power lies in understanding yourself. Okay? Who you are and what you do belongs to you. Okay? Who you are and what you do belongs to you. You don't owe anybody an explanation regarding who you are and what you do. People either accept it or don't accept it. That's up to them. It has nothing to do with you. So self-acceptance is uh, um, highlighted here. Issues around self-acceptance. Now, what is interesting is that we naturally come from a space of unity. Okay? Duality, where there is a harmonious two, those two opposites live in harmony. Okay? What divides or what separates us from this harmony is our thoughts. It's our perceptions. Thoughts are like knives. They separate. I believe Alan Watts said that once, and I thought that was brilliant. Okay. So look at your thoughts in terms of your perception of um, polarization, your perception of 
want to say you, your perception. Look at your own perception of you. And ask yourself, what is it that I don't accept about myself? What is it that I want to get rid of if I had the chance? What would I want to be instead of? Okay. Those are all questions that open up more questions because it's often, almost always, it's not about the answer, it's about what question you ask. Familiarize yourself with the idea of who you think you are. In other words, ask yourself the question, who am I? And you will often see yourself in a very polarized way because if you are that, then you are not that, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that. But that's a very... 3D view, and remember, you are moving through a consciousness upgrade, okay? Also, look how far you have come already. Don't get, su don't get sucked into this, this, this state, I should be further along, I should be further along, I should be further along, I should be this by now. Why do you put your, why do you put your life on time limits. What's the point of that? What, what, what's the point of that? Ask yourself that question. What's the point of that? <clears throat> Do you believe that if you attain something sooner, it's going to make you happy? No, it's going to make you sooner forget about your unhappiness for a while, but then you're back to square one. <clears throat> How you see yourself is how you show up. Okay. I just heard it's not enough to know about human experience. It's about embodying the human experience. This is what your soul is all about. <clears throat> Which means embodying a human experience means you let life move through you. You are a participant. How do you want to live your life moving forward? That is up to you. And notice how your ego starts to interject. I can't, but, 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 but. There's always, there's always going to be some but, yes. <clears throat> but at the end, realize that in all of what you are thinking about, there is an element of choice. And choices are kind of important to have. Protection. <clears throat> Obviously, the basic analogy is that you are protected. But what I'm sensing here more than anything, why are you so armed? Why are you so armed? So armed that you do not allow people to see you. What are you hiding? You're hiding yourself. Okay, why? Because this is what makes you feel safe, okay? So your abandonment, I just heard, fear is not allowing you for people to be fully with who you are only with the armored version <clears throat> and you also are not having a genuine experience you are pretending to be this person behind the shield which means you will experience your life through this shield it's not nearly as personal, okay? Some of you have fears around being left and that is showing itself 
right about now or in the next little while, okay? The idea isn't that you are being left. The idea is your fears are being triggered right now and they're probably old wounds, okay? If that's the case for you, um, it would be worth looking at because when we are functioning from the fear around safety, we're not spending a whole lot of time in <clears throat> satisfying other needs other than safety because we have more needs than just safety. Safety is primary, yes. But, what was that? But, um, there is more to life, there are more needs. Okay, so to thrive, we have to feed satisfy all of our needs okay <clears throat> and if you're this armored if you have so much protection it's going to be very hard for you to experience your needs being met because you're not going to allow it it's very interesting okay so pile number two a lot of it is about allowing what you allow into yourself into your life why and why not Okay, and then going from there. So that's it for you, pile number two. Hello, pile number three. These are going to be messages for you. So this is all about what does your soul want you to know or what does the universe want you to know? You have the melting pot. So what you are observing here is Two people, depiction of two people um, in harmony with one another, working towards the same goal. I'm not going to repeat it again because it was channeled. So you can go back and just listen to that phrase again. Okay. This is what you are here to support. Okay. You are a support system for that taking place. People coexisting together in harmony while working towards a common goal. You are in support of this system. It's a, it's a system, okay? Which means you are likely some sort of a teacher, okay? And the type of teaching that you do is associated with clearing out, cleaning out, debris, that's obviously a metaphor, and just making things cleaner, making, it's like you're, you're cleaning things up. That's the best way that I could describe it. And you're doing this through a microphone. Okay, that's interesting. You're doing it through your voice. And it's, very much driven by your passion that has you connected to that which is beyond you. I think this is what I want to say. I'm like, okay, guys, that's a, that's a long answer. Can we just shorten it? You're here on a mission. Okay. You're here on a mission. You're here on a mission. Okay. What kind of mission? I just heard that's to be decided. What kind of mission do you want to be on? Do you want to be on a type of a mission that is about integration or on a type of a mission that it's about disintegration or denigration? Which, 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 which path do you want to be on, basically? Um, 
What makes you tick? And why is it important that you are here? Those are the questions that you are being <clears throat> asked to ask yourself. What makes you tick? And why do you believe you are here? Because you are here um, on a mission, which means you have an impor important job or project to do. You are part of a bigger project. You are part of a bigger project than yourself. <clears throat> You're part of something bigger than yourself. And there's on a, on a certain level, you know this already. <clears throat> I'm just here to remind you. Okay. Why? Because right now you're feeling a little bit lost. <clears throat> uh, your directions are changing. You're changing directions. Um, you are at some pretty interesting point where you're questioning yourself a lot. You're questioning yourself a lot. And maybe what you're questioning is, why am I here? What am I here to do? Rewind and whatever I channeled, what you're here support, that's why you're here. Okay. You are here to be of support and you are a channel of energy. So effectively, you are an energy channeler. That's how I'm going to leave it. And you can dissect that in various different ways. You can channel energy in various different ways. I happen to do it as Joanna through my voice, through words, concepts. Okay, Yours may be through singing. In other words, to keep yourself small and hidden, You're not going to be able to complete your project. You're not going to be able to <clears throat> achieve the goal that you have, your soul has wants to achieve for itself. <clears throat> you are also part of a brigade. A brigade is a concept. I, I have to look at the name brigade, but it's, you know, there's a lot of uh, warrior like, I think that's what it means. There's, there's a, Again, there's more than you doing this, okay? <clears throat> You're here to remind people where they come from. Again, some of you will do it through a microphone. Um, some of you will do it publicly. Some of you will do it by literally saying a kind word to a stranger that lights up their day. <clears throat> Boom, you just shared your frequency with, with that, your light with that other person. <clears throat> it all has effect. You don't have to be some speaker with, you know, one million viewers on YouTube to affect change. You affect change you are, are already being as you are. Not the you in your confinement, the you outside of your own confinement. The you that does not relate or identify itself with the idea of I can't or I'm not supposed to or I'm not enough. It doesn't identify itself with that. Okay. I just heard your higher self knows you better than you know yourself. You should listen to him or her. Um, so this is a message that basically tells me that some of you are not listening to your higher selves, to the knowingness that is already within you, very firmly planted. You can draw upon it anytime you want. Um, but you're not doing that. And I also heard is for some of you, you're embarrassed by it. Is it perhaps that you are afraid of being called a freak? Um, is it because you're afraid someone is going to call you an alien? Uh, well, you're both freak and an alien. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy it uh, uh, responsibly. <laughs> um, what else? Because if... if if the reason why you are here to begin with, you are at odds with, then you are essentially not 
living out your life as you planned. Now, it doesn't mean you can't do that. Of course you can. But you're not meeting your soul's expectations. Okay? You're having a different experience. That's all wonderful. But that's how they want me to address this. Maybe one of the things you might want to ask yourself, what is my purpose? And the answer is to align yourself with your path. What would you say? Well, I already told you that very likely your path is to, and then go back and listen to what was channeled. That's very likely your path. But you can't do that. You can't fulfill that path if you don't have, if you're not accessing the higher level of understanding you already have within you, you have it, it's already there. It's in you already. The purpose was for you to bring that to the world. You have it. You don't have to go get it. You don't have to go buy it on sale. You don't have to beg for it. You don't have to deserve it. You have it. It's yours. Okay. You're at crossroads right now. It makes sense to me. Why? Because everything is about lenses, separation, unity, integration. We are all universally shifting changing look at the change in the world so of course you're going to go through some change right now of course because you are getting upgraded every single one of you are getting upgraded i talked about upgrade the other day in my other video and it was the idea of when you get upgraded on a plane for example and you go from coach to or economy to uh, business class, you are still on the same plane, but you're having a different experience, uh, perhaps a more pleasant experience, one you would value more. Okay. If you don't know that you can choose a different experience, you may not know how, that's a whole different story, but if you don't know that you can choose a different experience, which is where your power is, you'll never consciously choose a different experience for yourself you'll just keep on have life happening to you okay and you're at odds with yourself right now this is all part of the process you being at odds with yourself is necessary why because in order to identify the parts of you that are at odds you have to become aware of those otherwise you don't know they're not visible to you okay Right now, your odd oddness is really coming to the surface. You are at conflict right now. You're at conflict with yourself. Recognize this is where you're at. Because what it says is when you are fundamentally conflicted, you are not in unity. You're at odds with yourself. Okay, <clears throat> It's not a particularly great place to be in terms of feeling and being alive. Okay. You have the sound card, which is obviously about singing, voice, music, speaking, microphone. I don't know if I said it in this pile or it was a second pile, but what I'm, if I did say it again, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. You are a channeler. You are here to... <laughs> Beam light out of you. Whether it's through singing, speaking, voicing, what, whatever voice, throat chakra, okay? And you are allowing this information to come through you. You are not... You're, 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 you're like standing on the side and allowing it through to go through you. You are a channeler. Okay? You're a channeler. So this is how you channel inspiration. Okay.
perhaps this is saying you need to find your own voice right now. What does your voice want to say to you that you have not been listening to? What has your voice want to say to you that you haven't been listening to? Okay. Because your voice just wants to be heard. Perhaps some of you have experiences with many situations where you feel like you're not being heard. And that will create lots of things, frustration, anger, you know, not feeling confident. It'll, it'll, you know, help to create many feelings. But here's the question. If, if you, if you are the one who often feels like you're not being heard, ask yourself this question. Do you hear yourself? Do you allow yourself to hear yourself fully without manipulating information to fit your agenda? Do you allow yourself to hear yourself fully? And chances are you don't. Many people don't. Okay. What I hear is, but if you can't hear yourself, how is anybody else going to hear you? Your voice is small. I keep hearing you're choosing, your voice is small. You feel somehow your voice small, small voice. It's like your voice is somehow small. It's nonsense. Your voice is enormous. You are just not allowing your voice to fully come through you. Why? Because you're afraid. What are you afraid of? Being called an alien? <laughs> Darling, that ship has sailed. You already are. Okay? You already are. <clears throat> you don't have to believe it. You absolutely do not have to identify yourself with it. If others think that you're an alien, take it, take it as a, a, a sign that they see you for who you are because you don't seem to be seeing you for who you are. Why not? And obviously there's a, there's a meaning there. There's a big meaning there, okay? You owe it to yourself to know why do you participate less with life instead of more with life? In other words, you owe it to yourself to know how you hold yourself back, which includes your voice, okay? how you hold your voice from yourself, you don't wanna hear you, and how you hold your voice from outside, okay? That's your homework. Practice speaking your voice eloquently and confidently. In other words, no blame and no insecurity. Confidence and eloquence. Just speak your truth. Just speak your truth. You're not hurting anybody. If you're speaking your truth, it's kind of hard to offend somebody because it depends how you speak it. If you say, for example, my truth is that you make me miserable, that is not your truth. That is your pretend truth. That's what your ego tells you. Okay, that's not speaking your truth. Speaking your truth is, I feel small when I'm around you and I don't know why. That is you speaking your truth. You see the difference? You're owning your smallness. You're not letting the other be responsible for your smallness. Okay? Because that is untrue. It cannot happen. Okay? Perhaps learn how to speak to yourself more confidently. Perhaps that's what you would like to start with. I like myself today. If I don't love myself, okay, I'm 
I'm, I'm working how to love myself, how to treat myself better, how to be kind to myself, how to be my best friend. What do best friends do? They rely on each other. They certainly don't ignore each other because they will not be best friends for very long. Okay? They are capable for helping, of helping each other, supporting each other, being there for each other, listening to each other, providing an ear. Are you being that to yourself? If the answer is no, then you will absolutely not express yourself fully. How could you? You're ignoring yourself. You're ignoring parts of yourself that are very powerful and intended to help many people. Okay? So that's what I have for you, pile number three. If this makes sense or made is going to make sense, I would love to see your comments. Of course, if you would like a session with me and my team to help you navigate through this maze, I would be, we would be honored. Uh, you can just click on the link below or go to joannathehealer.com. I wish you a wonderful week, a happy solstice, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.